Hi everyone, this is my first vlog for the Rural Youth Project and my first vlog ever, so we'll see how it goes. My name is Tamsi Hopwood, I'm 26 years old and right now I'm in Nevada on the Wine Cup Gamble Ranch where I work. It's about three hours from here to where I live in Idaho and I usually come down here a couple of days every week. The place where I work on is a million acre ranch. Predominantly beef cattle is what we run, but we also have lots of other enterprises going on. We have a goat herd and a grass-fed beef program. We employ about 20 full-time people year-round. So for that much land mass, there's a lot going on for just 20 people. So we have to help each other out I do all of the paperwork for the ranch, run the office, and then order parts, pay bills, but also I've done irrigating, I can cowboy. But this kind of works in everyone's favor because if they don't have all of the knowledge in the world about one thing, they're probably going to learn something about it because they're going to have to help out whether they know everything about it or not. So that is one thing that I like. I've learned a lot by doing different tasks that I wasn't comfortable doing before and now I never would have learned that if I hadn't had to step in and help out. So one of the challenges living out here and working out here is definitely the communication. Um, cell phones work on the edge of the ranch but the farther you get into it the less service you have and you have to rely on a CB radio in your vehicle or you just have to make a plan before you go do a task that's going to be without service. Make sure people know where you're going. Also, there is a lot of public land around us, and so there's a lot of recreationists that come out here. So being two hours away from the nearest hospital is definitely a challenge. If somebody gets hurt, it's a lot more critical than if you just got hurt in the city. So I mentioned our cattle herd and our goat herd. We're just getting ready to start calving out on our beef cattle and our goat herd is actually going to start mid-May. So we'll have hundreds of little baby kids running around. So stay tuned, I'll try to feature that in my next vlog.